In 1975, New York City was over $11 billion in debt, and the banks were no longer there to bail them out. Instead, the bankers made them sweat, never showed up to the meeting, and then created a committee that they controlled so that the banks could manage the city directly. This has been brilliantly documented in the Adam Curtis film, Hypernormalization. The announcement on behalf of the controller is that the offer, which we had expected to receive and announce at 2 o'clock this afternoon, is now expected at 4 o'clock. Paul, does this mean that uh, so far nobody wants those bonds? We will be making a further announcement at 4 o'clock, and anything further that I could say now I think would not advance the interest of the sale, which is now in progress. Does this mean that you have not been able to sell them so far today? We will have a further announcement at 4 o'clock. What happened that day in New York marked a radical shift in power. The banks insisted that in order to protect their loans, they should be allowed to take control of the city. The city appealed to the president, but he refused to help. So a new committee was set up to manage the city's finances. Out of nine members, eight of them were bankers. It was the start of an extraordinary experiment where the financial institutions took power away from the politicians and started to run society themselves. That was nearly 50 years ago, and so you can be sure that the banks manage everything now. Politicians are merely their puppets, which was recently made blatantly obvious with the public display of Dianne Feinstein and her handlers. Um, you say I. Pardon me? I. Yeah. Uh, to say. I, I would like to support a yes vote on this. Um, it provides $823 billion. That's an increase of $26 billion for the Department of Defense. And the, it funds priorities submitted. Yeah, just say aye. Okay, just aye. Aye. <laughs> Thank you. Politicians are only there to keep the people divided and distracted. And they have so far been hugely successful at that. While a cashless society is slowly being built around us, everyone is hyper-emotional about something else and focused on fighting each other, which is most certainly exactly what the banks were shooting for. Because once they get us off of cash and completely onto a digital system, then the banks will have absolute control over each and every one of us. Uh, a key difference in, with the CBDC is the central bank will have absolute control. It's not just about uh, digital forms of physical currency. You can have programmability, you know, um, units of central bank currency with expiry dates where the government decides that units of central bank money can be used to purchase some things, but not other things that it deems less desirable, like, say, ammunition. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese. 